Hello, Class Fit Sugar. I'm Nikki Nee, and I'm here with you today to share a 30 minute conscious cardio workout to help you manage your stress in a mindful way. I got my girls with me today, Paris. What's up, guys? And Sienna. Hey. And they're gonna help you get your body strong and your mind calm. Are we ready? Oh, I'm ready, for sure. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start this workout right here with an A step. So you're gonna take the elbow to the opposite knee, and if this bounce is a little bit too much, you can keep the workout more low impact by watching my girl Sienna over here giving you that sweet modification. And then Paris will give you a little in-between movement if you need it. I got gotcha. you. She's got gotcha. you, we got gotcha. you. We are here in this together, 30 minutes Ooh. to de-stress. And you know how you de-stress? You play. You have fun. Yes. So we're here and you also connect to your breath. So right now, start taking a deep breath in. Sigh that breath out. Maybe give me a little bit more. 10 more seconds. All right, good, beautiful like that. We're gonna take it to a lunge with the arms overhead us up, starting to open up the upper back. So much of our day is spent sedentary, so we're seated. So the arms overhead are gonna start giving you a little bit more lift and openness in the front of your chest, helping some of that tension alleviate through your body, through your mind. So bring your focus here. Even if you've got a bunch of things on your to-do list, start getting present, and your breath is gonna help you do that. Let's take about four more. Inhale, exhale. Ah. How are we feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm you warming got that up. that alignment on point, looks good, Sienna. <laughs> All right, stay right here, come to the back of your mat. Let's take an inchworm. So we just stretch out the back of the legs as we roll down. Crawl the hands out in front of you and then bring them right under your shoulders. Press your hips back, take a downward facing dog. Oh yes, pedal yes. out your feet if that feels good. And start being able to move organically for you. So we're here to guide you, create a container for you to lead your workout through. But you know you can always bump it up, move how you need, find that place. When you're ready, go ahead and lower down to four point kneeling. We're gonna take bird dog. So left arm out, right leg extends, and as you exhale, contract the elbow to the knee. Inhale, keep the body reach in opposite directions, and then exhale, take it in. Woo! You can modify with Sienna where she's just lifting and lowering the arm. So decide what feels right for you. See if you can find the space in your body. When we're stressed out, we hold tension and tighten everything up. See if you can do that on the other side. Plant both hands, shift over, take your right hand up, left leg back, draw it in. So warming up the core muscles, the back line of the body. Find that focus, your intention to feel good, to relax, to get unwound from your day. Good, lower that down. And let's take the right leg forward and come into a nice low lunge. You can frame the top foot. If you want a little bit more, you can untuck the toes to lift your back knee off the floor and bring your fingers to your temples, elbow to the sky, and then find that twist, elbow to the ground. So twisting through the body, it'll help to massage the internal organs. When we hold stress in the body, that changes our microbiome. So then we start to get sick and we do not want to get sick. We need to feel good so we can do these workouts and feel well and alive. Ooh. Let's do one more. Twist in that out, ring it out. When you're ready, go ahead and Lower the knee, switch it out, four point kneeling, other side, take it through the lunge, and then you know you can decide what you need. Do you need to add that modification? Are you gonna pop that knee off the floor? Maybe you really open up the chest if you're feeling your stress being held in the upper back and shoulders. I don't know about you, but that is where I hold a lot of my stress when I'm feeling overwhelmed in my life. In your shoulders? Yeah. Mine too, girl. Right? Shoulders, jaw sometimes too. My dentist told me that I'd be grinding my teeth at night, apparently. We got, really, you too? Okay, we gotta relax that. All right, one more. Go ahead and land back down to all fours position. And then take it back one more time to that lunge. Slide it into a pivot so that we're facing each other and then walk the hands over the other side. Oh, I want you to feel that stretch of the inner thigh. That Walk it over good. to the other side. Make sure you're sticking your booty out. <laughs> Keep the spine nice and long, because you're gonna start to float the arms up. Engage a little bit more in your lower half of your body. Feel the sits bones reach back, navel draws in. And then 
Our jaws relax. Yes. No unneeded wrinkles coming onto our forehead. Keep it looking cute as the body gets nice and tight. All right, our last 30 seconds of our warm up. Let's take it into some scissor jacks. So taking it wide, cross the legs and cross the arms. Get that heart rate elevated for this conscious cardio workout. That's it. 10 more seconds. Sienna is nailing that mod. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out, let go of the stress. And then just shake it out. Woo! Amazing work. Well, let's go into our first block. We're gonna take it down to our mat. So we're gonna do about 10 mountain climbers of your choice. And Sienna will definitely give you some modifications that you can do just to tap or even come onto fists. And then after about 10 mountain climbers, you're gonna take your variation of two push-ups. So that can be tricep push-ups on your knees, elbows wide, just that inch bend, whatever feels good for you. Our first set's gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, take those mountain climbers. Stay with it, keep the shoulders engaged so that we're not rocking too much. And then two push-ups of your choice. Make sure you're breathing, running it out. Find your pace. It doesn't always have to be fast to be effective. Two push-ups. Stay with it, we're more than halfway through this first set. Keep that going. Stay positive. This is why we're here, put in the work. Last 10 seconds, running it out. That's right, Sienna. Make it work for you. For three, for two, for one. Let's lower to all fours. Let's just take a gentle cat cow. Deep breath in, arch the back. Exhale, pull the shoulders Ooh. wide, look at your belly. Thankful for this break. <laughs> Thankful for the break. We are grateful for this moment to have the ability to do this workout, to let go. We just got 20 seconds in three, in two, in one. All right, I'm gonna remember to do push-ups this time. I think I subconsciously was like, I don't really like push-ups, so we're not gonna do them. But this time we got it going on, keeping it nice and strong. Again, shift that inner voice to say, yes, I can. I am worthy to feel good. I can take time out of my day and then lower that down, breathe. 10 seconds, cat cow. Woo. Take a break, Sienna, take that break. Oh, there we go. Woo. Bring your mind back right here, right now. Last set in three, two, one, 10 seconds. That's only maybe two push-ups. Yeah, get it in. Maybe it's four. <sighs> what arm? Yes, parents, you got it. Oh, okay. Last no set more. in three, two, one, breathe, cat cow that out. Amazing, that's just our first move in this first block. We're going to our second move. So from here, take a deep breath in. Rise to stand, relax it down. We're gonna go into some gate swings. So we're gonna take the elbows to the legs, we're gonna go into a nice low squat, and then jump the feet together. Taking it wide, jump together. Yeah, I've got that modification. Yes. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are we sweaty? Yeah. Okay. Here we go, drop it down. So you know what you need, you know what you want. It's not always about giving it all the push, especially if you already are, have that tendency to get round up tight and stressed out. Maybe today you just need to find breath and take it a little smaller, go internal, close those eyes. You're almost there, you're in the last 15 seconds. And maybe for you, you're like, I need this, Nikki. I'm gonna turn it up, finishing it nice and strong. Last big set for three, for two, for one. Big shoulder roll in. Woo! That's it. Exhale, let it go. Ha. Ah. And then you're in your own time. Find that massage of that tension that we're holding. Maybe you soften your throat. Maybe you soften your belly, your fingertips. You know your areas better than I ever will. Let that go. Inner voice says, I got this, I want this. Yes. We're going 20 second verse. Okay. In three, in two, in okay. one, here we go. Okay. So you came here for some cardio. Just cause it's conscious doesn't mean it's easy. We're not sitting in meditation today, y'all. So stay with that. Almost there, eight seconds. Inner critic is like, you got this. I see you, keep going. All right, stand up tall. Take the shoulder rolls Ooh, forward this time. Nikki, you working In me. the nose, out the mouth. Oh. One more set of this and we don't do big things ever again in our whole lives. So 
we press play on this next time. <laughs> All right. Here we go. In four, three, two. Let's go. One last. Okay. I'm gonna try to go really fast this time. Yes, Paris, you better go. Yeah, challenge. That's it. Wherever you are at, be accepting of this place that you're at right now. No FOMO, no comparison. We're all on our own path. For three, two, one. Oh, they're gonna do a big shoulder roll, the arms. Oh. Say good job, be proud. I'm proud of you staying with me. We got one more block of this set. So we're gonna go 10 high knees. And then my friends, I know, it's a burpee. So we're gonna either drop it all the way down or into a high plank, top of a push up. Either jump or just come to standing. You know who to follow. You know what you need. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Okay. Oh, say a little prayer. We got a water break after this set. We're going in five. High knees, two burpees. And three, two, one. Here we go. Ha, ha. And then you smile because you're like, I can't believe how crazy I am. But this is what I do when I don't have to work. I just work out. <laughs> and then drop it down whenever you're ready into those two burpees. Pick the variation that is gonna challenge you so that it changes you. Today, right now. Drop it down, find those burpees. Keep it going back to those high knees. Finish it 10 more seconds. Two burpees. You're gonna take a little moment to breathe. Finish on the ground. Ooh, sit back, take a nice moment. Breathe. Child's pose. See if you can drop your breath into your belly and slow it down. Consciously shape your breath to shape your energy. Oh, do you feel that? That is a moment. Hold on to that feeling. Next time you gotta work it out. We're going in 20, se uh, 20 seconds on. In three, in two, in one. I'm gonna start with two burpees. I know about you. Let's go. High knees. Try not to stop and see if you can just find those modifications that allow you to keep going. Five more seconds. Finish this set in the lower position. You got child's pose, Sienna. Take a break. 10 seconds. Breathe in through your nose. Let your belly be wide. Exhale, soften, relax. Or your forehead, your intuition, your third eye on the mat. Last 20 second block. In three, in two, and one. Let's go. 10 high knees, two burpees. My friends, we get a water break after this. You're gonna be craving that hydration. Get ready, drop it down if you haven't done those burpees yet. Maybe you jump higher. You got four, three, two, one. Either take child's pose for a moment. Deep breath in. Tie it out, soften. Create more space in your body, in your breath, between your thoughts. Maybe you're gonna get a little quick sip of water. I'm gonna wet the whistle, and we're gonna go into our second, and also final block before cardio, uh, before core. This is cardio! Yeah. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> For sure cardio. Mm -hmm. mm. You're rocking it. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers to you. Start to get ready. Just eyes on me and I'll, I'll demo before you need to get into the work of the second block. So we're gonna take quick feet, which is super fun because when you take these like little football player feet, it's almost like this little like dance twerk. You just kind of let everything shake and be free. No stress in the booty. And then from there, we're gonna take four lunges. So we're gonna take that shake. And then you got either a jump lunge or you can take a little beat in the middle or just step it back to two reverse lunges. You know what you're gonna do? Yes. 40 seconds on. You got this. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Three, two, one. Fast feet. Shake it out. Woo. Make it three. Oh, yeah. And then take those four lunges. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Back to those quick feet. Come on. Get them up there. Get them up there. It should sound like a pack of tap dancers on your floor. Three, two, one, lunge it out. All right, going back to that. Can you get a little lower? Sink it down. Four lunges. 
Last 10 seconds, come on. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Finish it out for me. Stay low, shake it, shake it, shake okay, it. Okay, shake that it. lunge. Good, breathe up, lateral, stretch, inhale. Ooh, drop it down. Other side. Maybe close your eyes, move your attention inward. Notice how you feel in your body as you start to let go of what doesn't really matter and start to invite more space into what does. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, in three, in two. There we go. Let's go. It's inevitable. So you gotta bring a little fire, a little joy, take those lunges. Last 10 seconds. Maybe you do a little head roll around yourself. <laughs> More lunges. Last five seconds. Make it your own. Woo hey. Three, two, one. Lateral stretch. Ooh, that had me feeling like Tina Turner. Totally right. <laughs> Tina Turner vibes up in here today. Yes. Go the other side. Drop it back down. <sighs> Not about being perfect, just about staying with it. We're going in four seconds. Our last round of these. Three, two, one. Can we go a little lower? Okay. Shake it out. You got it, ladies. You got to stay with it. Four lunges. Halfway through. Come on. Stay low. Get down. You're an animal. You're a beast. Unleash. Three, two, one. Stretch it out. Woo. Holy moly. Oh my God. What you? What you guys got me doing today? Dripping uh -huh. in sweat? Uh -huh. I'm a yogini, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it feels great. It feels so good. So important for us to find this moment in our day, to create this moment in our day, to relax, to play, to feel freaking good. All right, so in going into our next set, plant the feet, soft bend in the knees, blade the palms, and slide the elbows back and forth. It's like a little, video game run. Yes. Like you're being chased, but your feet are stable to the floor. All right, I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds to breathe. Not because I need it. Mm, I do. I think you probably do. <laughs> I need I'm, it. I'm fine. I, I need it, guys, so don't worry <laughs> if you need it too. In three, <laughs> and two, and one. So you're gonna take these quick arms. Mind you, you don't wanna cheat yourself. So go full out. All right, let's take four skaters right here. So we're gonna take it over, drop it low. You can take out the jump just like Sienna. And then we're right back into it. Run, 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 run. Like you're being chased. Go for it. Running away from the toxic people, the yes. stressful relationships. That part. Yes. <laughs> the things you don't need. And then take those four skaters. And more importantly, start visualizing what you're running towards. Last set. What are you running towards? Feeling good, self-love. Enjoyment of life, gratitude. Woo! Ah, stay with it. Finish it out five seconds. Take those four skaters, and we're in our recovery move. It's just a little twist right here. Take it wide. Slower. Feel the wind on your arms as you move around. Make it super mindful. Slow it down. Give them the little kidneys a tap. I love tap. And we're gonna go into 20 seconds. Here we go. Let's run it up. Fast arms. You want to make sure that you're staying nice and stable in your hips and your lower half. And the top half is like going crazy. All right, four skaters. Here we go. Take it side to side. Find that lateral jump, the balance, and then take it back center. Last 10 seconds. Pick up the pace. Run it out. All right, give me the four skaters. I feel like I'm back to my dancing roots right here. Take it into that little lateral. Side twist, drop it down. Get the breath out of your chest, drop it to your belly. Feel safe, you can even say I'm safe, I am loved. I can do anything I put my mind to. We're going in three, two, one. Let's keep those arms going as fast as you can go! Lightning speed! <laughs> Four skaters, finish it out. Make it a dance, make it a groove. Cause my friends, we're gonna just breathe right here. Take those restorative twists again. Again, feel your skin on the breeze, the temperature, deep breath. Ah, we're gonna do our last block. It's gonna be shoot throughs. 
Perfect. So as you keep doing those twists, finish that out, stay connected to your breath. I'm gonna show you on all fours. I'll lift my right arm and shoot my opposite leg. So my left leg shoots through, come back to all fours. Ideally, you can try it without touching your knees. It's a lot harder. But if you need to, watch Sienna. She'll modify there. And she's not gonna go too far off the floor with the arm and the leg. We got 40 seconds. Here we go in three, two, one. Take those shoot throughs. So this is helping your agility, your mobility, as well as the strength through your full body. So the shoulders are feeling that, the core is activated, your legs need to work in order to stay off the floor. And guess what? We're having a good time. Because yeah. I get to be with my girls, I get to be with you. We're breathing, we're working it out. Finish it in four, in three, in two, cobra pose. So go ahead and snake onto your belly. Lift the heart up, roll your shoulders back. See and notice where your tension is being held right now. Those little parts that always get tight, relax them for you, your jaw, your forehead, your throat, your butt, <laughs> whatever it needs, give it soft. And let's go into our second set. 20 seconds, here we go. Shoot throughs. So see if you can stay really stable so that we're not having any faulty shoulder issues by being loosey-goosey. Activate there. You got three, two, one. Lay it down. We got one more set. Take a moment in Cobra. Feel that length through the abdominals. Feel your heart open up. When we're stressed, there's so much tension in our heart. So see that soften. And then go ahead, let's take it to that last round. Shoot throughs, let's go. Take it out. We are almost there, my friends. Find that inner cheerleader, that mindset that you choose that you're gonna keep going. Don't give up on you. Three, two, don't give up on you. Okay, finish that off, Cobra Pose. We got a little bit of core work, my friends, and then we're gonna cool down. We have a moment of mindfulness. So from here, starting our core work, we're gonna go into Russian twists. So bring the legs around. Option here to lean back to the angle that's appropriate for you to keep the core engaged. You can take your hands to prayer, Anjali Mudra, and just find a nice gentle twist. Yeah, let's go. And if you're like, Nikki, this is so simple. You can do just like Paris and lift those heels off of the floor, keeping the knees squeezed together. So I often see so many people do these Russian twists like super duper fast. And I think it's so much more beneficial to extend the movements all the way over side to side as far as you can. That'll really activate your obliques. Getting that body strong, keep your mind calm. That is a superhero. You Ooh. can be mellow and empowered, responsive and not reactive. You're almost there. You got about 10 more seconds. Woo! All That's right. It. Stress depletes us, it diminishes our capacity for patience. So, right now, we're filling our cups for three, two, one. Go ahead and extend it long. Stretch the arms overhead. Give your body some length. Woo! That feels good. From there, we're gonna take a seat. And we're gonna either do a sit up all the way up. And then we're gonna take two punches. If that is a little too much to go all the way down, you can just lower down to an appropriate space and then come back with those two punches. All right, here we go, we got 30 seconds. So either taking it all the way down, punch through those legs, you could open up those hips through the punch, and then I see that target out in front of you. A lot of times when we hold stress, that shows up in anger, in irritability, in judgment, whether that's for ourselves, uh-oh, or others, scary. And so right now, we can kind of eliminate that through our physical movement, through your breath, and also through your mindset. So give me 10 more seconds. Yes, Paris, I see you getting it, girl. Just like that, Sienna. You got it at home for three, for two. Give it a good stretch, nice and long. Lay your body down. You're all are doing amazing. We're gonna take it up to some leg lifts. So you can bring your hands under your lower back to support the lumbar spine if you want. You better keep your throat relaxed. Do not tense a thigh in your neck. We're gonna lower the legs down, hover the floor, and then bring them back up. Keep your hips and your whole spine on the mat the entire time. Whenever you're ready, you'll join us. The modifications here are to bend the knees and not go quite as low to the floor. So again, you are driving your car. Your car is your body, your breath, your mind. You get to decide where you need to be today in order to find that little bit of expansion, a little bit of growth. Stay with it. Take about three more. 
and then we're gonna keep those feet all the way up overhead and just lift the hips up and down. It's a tiny little hip raise. Toes reach all the way up, like there's a target right above your toes and you're punching the bullseye. So this is helping us to be weatherproof. That means that we are not getting riled up or our mood is not getting based on whether the sun is shining or it's pouring down rain. We are finding that sense of inner peace no matter what. Yes. Right at the end of our workout. I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Finish it out right here for three, for two, for one. Lower it down, my friends. We got our last little bit. We're gonna hold a 30 second plank. Are you ready? Either a high plank on your knees, on your elbows. We're going in three, in two, in one. And lifting those knees up, maybe close your eyes. Connect back to your breath just as we started this workout already almost 30 minutes ago, my friend. Breathe in through the nose. If you can, breathe out of your nose as well. Keep the core nice and tight. And again, just finding that sense of peace, of calm, that you can relax even though you're super engaged. There's a sense of knowingness that you're in control, that you are responsible, that you've taken the action to be here. And then just like that, 30 seconds is up, relax. Lower that down, amazing job. Sit back into child's pose. Let's take a nice, beautiful, cool down. So folding in, find your breath. Notice if it's fast, if your heart rate has sped up. Mine definitely has. I've detoxified through all of this sweat. Let that feel good. Let that be your sign of just knowing that you did your best. You can walk the hands over to the left, stretch the side body, back to center, over to the right. From there, let's take a shoulder stretch coming onto one palm, the elbows up and slide. You take the left hand long and you can just press the front of your pectoral muscle into the floor and relax your cheek on the mat. And then you can take the other side, bend the left arm in. I'm extending my right arm out, just opening up through the front of your chest. <sighs> that sweet, sweet satisfaction of accomplishment as you crawl forward into all fours position. Go ahead and take one leg in front. An option to give yourself that twist, maybe reaching the hand up or just keeping it on the thigh. And then you could plant and square it off, open through the front of that hip flexor and then take it back. A little half split, if you will. And then come back forward if you would like. You can bend the back leg, reach back behind you to grab a hold of your foot or your ankle for a quadricep stretch. Ooh, this one always hurts. Oh, uh, hurts so good though, right? It does. Yeah. It's good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and find a nice lateral lunge like we did in the beginning of class. Like a wild cheetah walk over to the other side. You did this. Go ahead and square it off and find your nice low lunge back and down. Take a twist. Breathe into your belly, ring out the waist. Feel that purification that has happened through this workout. Go ahead and maybe reach back even further, bend the back leg, grab a hold of it. You want that quad stretch? I know I do, it feels so good. Go ahead and square off the hands, pull the hips back, give yourself that hamstring stretch. Send your body love, be gentle, and take priority in this time. I know you have a busy life and so much to get to, but this is so important in your workout is to cool down, is to bring yourself back to a state of calm, from here, just go ahead and open up the legs to a V-sit. This is what's gonna help you to stay working out forever, to keep your health at your you know, maximum capacity if you have this time to recover. <sighs> Breathe into it, let your hips be soft. Maybe you melt a little bit deeper. And more than anything, the physical is important, but be able to have that space for your mind to slow down to have a little bit more gap in between each one of your thoughts. That's when it help you when life gets challenging and those big waves come crashing that you're able to just remain this eye of the storm and handle whatever you gotta handle. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and lay down on your backs. So as you lay down on your backs, you can take a supine twist. I like to just drop both knees in, but maybe it's just one leg, the, the, the right leg, and then you'll drop your knees to the left. And see if you can notice where you're still like maybe shaky or jittery. 
And that's just that sign again of still a little excess energy that's not focused where we want it to be in the body. So again, give yourself permission to slow down. When you're ready, you can take your twist to the other side, either drop both knees or take your left knee across the body. I can hear my friends breathing and that is the sweetest sound to me. So if you don't hear yourself breathing or maybe you have a workout buddy, remind each other through your deep, luscious, full breath to let that be your, your guide to stay present and in this moment. From here, we're gonna finish one minute of just mindfulness. So you could either take that here laying in Shavasana or maybe you would prefer to take a seat maybe in, on a cushion if that feels good for you and that's nearby. And just as you drop in, I invite you to close your eyes. Just keep your attention internal. And just be aware of how you feel right now. Most often, we always feel really good, really accomplished, more relaxed, more resilient, proud. And as you become more aware maybe of the stressors in your life, you can start bringing that awareness to weed those things out. And that if we have time, we set time consciously aside each day to do something playful, to do something that makes us feel good, to step out into nature maybe. What is that for you? As you just sit here or lay here these last moments, what brings you a sense of relaxation and play? It might even bring a little smile to your face. And ask yourself, how can I do more of that? How can I call that in and create time to play. We do not want stress to rule our lives. We want to be the creators of a life that feels good. So maybe a hand on the heart, a deep breath in, a moment of gratitude for yourself for showing up. I'm so grateful for you for being here with us. When you take care of yourself, that automatically sends a ripple of positive energy into the space around you and will help to continue to elevate your life. <sighs> and feeling that connection to your breath, let that keep you calm and strong throughout the rest of your day. Thank you to my girls, Sienna and Paris, for holding us down today. And big thank you to you for showing up and just being the master of your beautiful life. I'll see you next time right here at Class Fit Sugar.